Got bitches trap alone the M hurts. I didn't come a long way from the bug hurts. It's so hard to get trapped because love hurts. She don't come easy, nigga, it's hard work. Baby riding shotgun like a monster. She don't suck in it, let me pro first. She made me bust another, that's a starburst. Right around on this. So, hey guys. Uh, today, I'm going to be attempting to dye these bundles. Let me let it be known that I'm doing it the lazy way, so don't come for me. W2 bleach. And I'm probably just going to put two scoops to start off with in there. Whew. This stuff powdery is about to make me sneeze. <coughs> I'm not now. And all the particles are flying around. So let's just hope that I don't die. I have this 16 inch bundle. The hair is by Eunice Hair. I think. And I'm taking some 40 volume developer and I'm just about to put that in. I'll probably end up using it. Okay. So let me put on my other glove. Let it be known, this is my first time like dyeing something of color, so before y'all come from me, I'm probably going to have to end up mixing two different developers in. I just put the rest of this bottle on my hair. Well, this is why I don't dye hair, because of the color. Secondly, I'm making a mess. So it's obvious that I really don't know all the things that I'm doing. This is what it's looking like so far. It probably should be creamier than this, but I used a cream developer, so. <laughs> Woo, I'm pretty sure if I breathe this stuff in, I'm gonna die. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to make more bleach. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to take breaks because I just can't do the smell like y'all. <laughs> then we're gonna flip the bundle over. Cause as you can see, I'm brushing the dye. Not the dye, the bleach through it, but it's not completely saturated. So I'm gonna have to go through and put more bleach on it, and I'm probably gonna end up having to make a more bleach mixture. In the comments, somebody need to tell me if it's bad for me to like be standing here without a mask. Let me just stop putting it on the tin foil unless I'm actually like putting. Put bleach throughout there because obviously bleach didn't get there and it needs to get there, so that's what we're finna do. And you guys can probably see it lightening up as we speak or as. Gotta get every single strand, y'all every single strand and I didn't even want to bring it up this much but I did so it is what it is yellow I'm gonna probably pause it though so I can bleach the other bundles and I'm gonna come back after I do that uh, I just finished like dyeing my hair or whatever and it was a mess it really was it was a huge mess 
actually. And yeah, I'm just letting it. I'm just letting it basically sit. I did not end up dyeing it blue because after I rinsed it out or whatever, it was just not it. I didn't think that the blue would show up how I wanted it to show up, so I didn't dye it blue at all. I ended up dyeing it red because at least then it would be like a burgundy. So we're going to see how it comes out. Hopefully I have enough hair to make a wig. And yeah, I'll get back to you guys whenever I rinse it and stuff. I'm going to show you all how the color came out. This is how it came out. Um, in a light, it looks way better. There are some spots that I miss. So I already know I'm about to have to go back and freaking dye them. For example, like right here, it's still brown. But overall, the hair looks nice. I think it does. It's a nice like burgundy color. Let me show y'all the longest bundle. Gotta find it. This is the 20 inch or whatever. Like, it's still some spots I could go back and dye. And I probably will. But for the most part, that's just the color. This is... Hold on, let me come through it. This is what the closure looks like. Now, on the closure, I didn't miss any color. And, of course, the closure is darker than the rest of the hair. This is the color of the closure. It's a 12 inch closure and I did just wash and shampoo it so there is no like um, dye coming off on my hand because I got all the extra dye off. So, so y'all currently I already made the wig whatever whatever. It's got a middle part or whatever. This is how the color came out. I'm pretty sure it's going to look better after I flat iron it and stuff because I just blow dried it. So that's what I'm about to do right now. A tutorial up on how I make my wigs. So if you guys want to know how I make my wigs, then go watch that tutorial because obviously I did not show how I did that in this video because then it would be too long. Okay, so basically this is just what the wig is looking like. The ends are frizzy and with Yuna's hair it has been like that. Even when I had this hair installed for my birthday. So I don't know, I guess that's just a problem with them. 
but this is the hair. No, it's not perfect like other YouTubers, but I'm going to get better as I go. And you guys will see it on my new Instagram. Go follow it. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. It looks nice to me and I did not have to spend a lot of money to do this. So I'm satisfied. It's cute. It has baby hairs. And I can just do a regular part if I want to. But yep. I'll probably style it in another video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.